Uh, my name is, well, I am. <laughs> I am Sua Piwe and um, today is Sunday and supposedly it's Women's Month. And um, I'm going to be reading because, yeah, like I am on the third day of my moon time, my period. And yeah, I love to blurb a lot. So I didn't want to lose the point of this video. So I am going to be taking notes, taking notes. <laughs> so I don't celebrate Women's Month. Uh, and I've never really, it's like, I've never really celebrated it. I've never seen the need to celebrate it. And because um, as long as we women are still the minority and we women still remain unseen, unheard, and as long as we women are killed, uh, uh, raped, and all these things are done to us every minute. And as long as we women can't cycle in our own local townships, you know, alone, uh, without the need of a man cycling next to us, then I will not celebrate Women's Day. And also, women are for me are such a power force they are an instrument of creation of boundless creation and for me women should be celebrated every day 365 days every hour every minute and every second a woman should be celebrated because that's how powerful a woman is and so and also as long as women are still envious and jealous and and, and and are filled with hatred and and confusion and 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 and, and, and just this connection in, in internally then i will not celebrate women's month and uh yes so yes so women are a powerhouse to be celebrated every day of the month and um and so I grew up in a female um, dominated um, house and there wasn't any male figure um, around. So, and I mean, I, I, I was okay with that and male figures at home were never really a thing. It was really normal for, for us not to, for the, for the, you know, for the woman in my family not to marry. And it was really, we were really okay with just being women. And that's my name. My name is Sua Piwa Mando Mazana. And um, we are given girls and that's how much girls they were in my family. And it was really okay for women to not marry or, or whatever the case may be, or to have kids and not marry, you know. And, and that, that that was the normal and it is the normal in every second house in, in in the communities and so and i was okay like i was really okay with not having a male figure until i was until i was 20 something when i turned 20 something that's when i realized that um you know they Mothers who have daughters always have this teaching that um, daughters or, or the girl child doesn't need a male, you know, role model in their lives. When the truth is, we all need role, you know, a male um, model in our lives, whether I'm a boy or I'm a girl. You know, it's very important for a male to be part you know it's very important for a male figure to be in the house it's very important to have a relationship with your father because then it it becomes a wound and that's when i realized when i was 20 something that actually i have a father wound and as much as i have a mother wound i have a father wound too and i've always felt out of touch with my femininity fem femininity for me yes that word and i've always felt out of touch with my femininity and i didn't understand because i was surrounded by women why would i be out of touch you know and when the truth is whenever when the truth is i never lacked i never lacked anything and i i, I never lacked i was enough i am enough and when i started to understand that femininity and masculinity 
are not genders they are actually energy that you you have since you are a child and and they they're not gender and that's when I really started to tap into my woman womanity womanity and um and that being you know the realization that you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a woman and and I am I am a mother and I am you know an instrument of creation I'm an instrument of bringing life into this earth and I'm a bringer of life I'm a nurturer of life and you know that's when I tapped deep into my woman womanity and I started to build a home you know internally and this light inside me started to shine started to shine so bright <laughs> and I saw my heart and I saw how powerful how powerful I am as a woman and and you know the sense the sense of just woman womanity and that's what I was you know that's what I lacked you know knowing the knowing of self the knowing of of the vagina the knowing of my of 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 why I bleed every month the knowing of my cycles the knowing of earth the knowing of just just the knowing of why everything is the way it is and how everything works together and works as one you know and uh, yeah, like I really, really started to tap in, in into myself and to really understand the force and the power I have as a woman. And really the video, this video is about, in a, is an extension of the first video I had, Growing Up Fatherless, and how it's important um, to, to really, as a community, to really look into why so many why so many homes are fatherless where is our fathers and why don't our fathers ever stay and i like it's something that's been just in my head it's just been in my head and it's been lingering and and because there's never a father you know as a woman it's a norm to have not that it's it's you know it's a problem or it's not okay but it's it's become a norm for a woman to have three kids from different fathers and not even marry any of those men you know what well, what is the problem are we is lust becoming a norm are we confusing lust lust for love uh do do we not know the power we possess as a woman? Do we give ourselves? Do we give ourselves freely? Do we not know how to take space? Is there a wound that needs to be healed? And are we truly looking inside? And are we truly working with our woman, womanity? And are we truly in touch with our yin and our yang? And yeah, like it's Women's Day and. It's a beautiful day to always, as a woman, to just look inside and to look, look inside, look outside and to really see the power you possess. You are powerful. You are a powerful woman. You are a powerful being. You gave birth to a man. You, they, you are not an extension of a man. They are an extension of you, woman. And so... It's really, it's really time that we, and we know that we are enough. We are not broken. We are enough. Sipelele. We are enough. We are complete. And it's really time to take back our power as women and not give ourselves freely to men that do not deserve, to men that do not deserve our power, to men that don't see us. It is time. It is time to come together to create sisterhoods, to create sisterhoods. It is time to come together to talk, to really talk and to really heal and to really deal with, with everything. It is time to come together as sisterhoods and as sisters and sisters that bleed and sisters that heal and sisters that birth nations. And really Ubuntu is a thing. Ubuntu is something that has been overlooked. It doesn't it doesn't happen anymore. It's rare to 
come across Ubuntu. It's rare to see that kindness is suddenly like, oh, you've been kind. Wow, that's so rare. Like when it's it it, sh it it should be normal, you know, kindness should be a norm, but it's not. And yeah, no, like when when I, I was so disconnected, like I was so disconnected with my womanity. I was really out of touch with my womanity. I didn't understand. I, I didn't understand anything about being a woman and 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 all that. But now that I took back my power, I was not. Lo I was no longer a victim. I was no longer, you know, a victim and just a sexual instrument for men or whatever the society portrays women to be i am enough i come here and i take space i am important i am beautiful and i am so enough and i am worth worth so much so yes that is it for me and that's just yeah that's just it um Thank you for watching this video. It's just like blurts and just thoughts and and just me wanting to talk and to share and to create a space and a movement of beautiful women that come together and talk about things that are constantly on their minds. So we just really understand, take things out so that we understand our truth and that we open space for 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 truth and for acceptance and and for self-acceptance and there are things that in your head well personally that i don't understand and i really want to talk about it and as much as it doesn't make sense now it will eventually connect and it will eventually make sense so thank you for listening and thank you for tuning in stay beautiful beautiful man and beautiful woman and come back home all the time ground yourself and come back home you are enough just like the moon and the sun works together, work together.